Hi, I'm Nick from Sigma America, and today I'm very happy to welcome Mr. Kazutu Yamaki. He is the CEO of Sigma Corporation. And uh, Kazutu-san, I'm very glad to have you here, and I do have some questions that I'd like to uh, ask you while you're here visiting in New York. So welcome. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you for being here. Um, right now, it's the middle of 2022, approximately two years after uh, COVID-19 created chaos all over the world. Um, and the photography industry was, of course, affected just like all other industries. Mm -hmm. What are some of the struggles that Sigma faced during that time? And what have you done to overcome those struggles? Right. First of all, I was concerned about the customer's mail. Mm -hmm. uh, customer may lose the, the interest and uh, it create, may lose the demand for the camera lenses. But uh, uh, fortunately, the customer never lose uh, interest in photo photography and uh, sure. uh, uh, interested in the new camera and lenses. So it was great help for us. For our side, the production was very challenging because the factory staff can't work from home. Mm -hmm. But uh, I really appreciate our staff at the factory. They are very careful not to be infected uh, COVID or spread COVID too much. So we could continue the production uh, very well and uh, continue, could continue the full, full, full production. Also during uh, the pandemic, a lots of photographers were, or not even photographers, but just people were able to pick up a new hobby. Um, macro photography, especially um, wildlife photography using telephoto lenses started to pick up. So uh, how about all those people who learned about photography while they were on lockdown. I'm very surprised to see such a new emerging uh, category of photography. Uh, mm -hmm. They really like to take photo uh, with macro lenses, uh, maybe in their garden, because they couldn't go out uh, and go to the, the big cities. Right. But uh, they found how interesting to shoot the flowers or birds or small animals nearby in their houses. So I think it's very interesting. Yeah, and uh, not only that, but uh, people started to create their own YouTube channels. They started to learn more about video production. So while some people were buying macro lenses and telephoto lenses, others were buying standard zooms or, or primes so that they could shoot video in their own homes. Yeah, video is definitely the new trend especially a young generation likes to shoot video. Mm -hmm. uh, so we will, moving forward, uh, make uh, more uh, equipment and camera lenses for such uh, users. That's great to hear. Um, also, speaking of new trends, and I guess this isn't really a new trend at this point, but mirrorless cameras have uh, essentially taken over as the primary platform yep. for photographers. Um, what is Sigma doing to Obviously, we've introduced the DGDN um, full-frame mirrorless lenses, but uh, what else is Sigma doing to take advantage of this new technology? Uh, basically, the technology to make the, the mirrorless lenses are basically not different from the one for DSL lenses. Hmm. But uh, uh, during this period, uh, the camera has been developed with more pixel, higher resolution, higher, uh, let's say, contrast, uh, so higher performance of the sensor. Mm -hmm. So lens need to be developed uh, with better optical performance. So we invest hugely on uh, optics technology, especially we invested for aspherical uh, elements uh, production or manufacturing. One other advantage of mirrorless technology um, that I've seen is being able to use lens compensation profiles. Uh, and that has led to smaller lenses from companies like Sigma. So um, do you expect this to be something you continue to integrate into your lenses going forward? Well, uh, it depends on the, the concept of the lens. Mm -hmm. uh, if we really need to make the lens very compact, we use that technology. But some users may not like that kind of technique mm -hmm. to make the product small. So we may, for some certain product, we may uh, stay in the traditional 
design approach mm -hmm. uh, without relying on uh, 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 optical compensation. Okay. Correction. Now, there are, of course, uh, lots of customers who currently shoot with DSLRs, and DSLRs still sell pretty well. Um, is Sigma going to continue developing DSLR lenses, or at least supporting those who are using DSLRs? Of course. Uh, there are many more uh, photographers who still use DSLRs, or some customers still buy DSLRs. Mm -hmm. Actually, personally, I like DSLR body because it feels a very you know, solid camera body. Mm -hmm. uh, so I hope uh, the the people, the customers, use DSLR camera body as long as possible. But for Sigma, we will support those photographers as as long as possible if there is a demand. Understood. Um, also, speaking of mirrorless, uh, Sigma offers two full frame mirrorless cameras, the FP and the FPL. I think uh, those cameras are a little misunderstood, and actually I've got one right here. Maybe you can tell us a little bit more about the FP or the FPL, the concept behind it, and uh, what you want customers to know about these cameras. Okay, so this camera has three uh, main features. The mm -hmm. first one is uh, the compact body. This is uh, the uh, the smallest uh, camera uh, camera for full, as a full frame mirrorless camera. Right. The second one is uh, we call the seamless, which is which support both uh, still photography and uh, video or cine uh, filming. And the third uh, feature is uh, uh, more scalable. Uh, this camera has three screws on on side and uh, bottom, mm -hmm. so that this camera can use uh, many more accessories. So you can uh, use many, uh, you can create your own set uh, uh, based on your interest or uh, your style. Okay, so everyone has their own needs and this camera should be able to fit almost anyone's needs. Yes, yeah. for example, um, I'm not visiting America, Mm -hmm. And uh, I brought uh, this camera with a small lens, as is, no accessory, but mm -hmm. this small setup can easily sit in my back. So uh, this is very versatile camera and a very fun to use camera. Okay, thank you. Um, speaking of cameras, uh, Sigma has long been known for very unique cameras, specifically the uh, Foveon cameras of years gone by. Um, the SD Quattro, I believe, is no longer going to be produced, but there are lots of Foveon fans out there. So a couple months ago in February, uh, the company released a statement saying that we were still working on a three-layer sensor. Any status update on that? Uh, we are still working on it. And uh, next, uh, we, now we are working on the uh, prototype of the uh, three-layer X3 sensor. Uh, this sensor should be available sometime in this year. Wow. Um, the the Fovion X3 sensor is not a very versatile sensor. Uh, there is some uh, cons like uh, performance in the low light, right. but if the there is a uh, you know, amount of light, uh, that camera can create a very beautiful and impressive photo, uh, uh, photos. Yes, there are some uh, very dedicated Foveon fans. Actually, I personally have been using a uh, Foveon camera mm -hmm. for this, let's say, nearly 20 years. Wow. And most of my family photos were taken by SD 9, 10, 14, 15, SD Quattro, things like that. Mm -hmm. So I really personally like to have newer sensor. That would be great. I'm sure many people are looking forward to that. Yep. So while we do create cameras, uh, our main business is, of course, lenses. Now, thankfully, photographers out there are very eager for new Sigma lenses to come onto the market, but being patient for those products is very difficult sometimes. So what do you say to customers who are waiting very eagerly, sometimes a little impatiently, for new lenses to arrive? Uh, we will continuously enhance our product lineup. Mm -hmm. uh, some of those lenses are replacement of the DSLR lenses. 
maybe in terms of the specification, uh, maybe familiar, uh, the, which is familiar among the customers. But we will also continuously provide uh, innovative products, innovative lenses, which never existed uh, before. Mm -hmm. So I know the customers' uh, demand, but uh, I hope they wait uh, with uh, patience uh, mm -hmm. for, uh, for our new products. Okay, so patience is the key. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about you. Um, Sigma fans might know the history of the company, or at least the basics. Uh, Sigma, of course, was founded by your father um, over 60 years ago, but most might not know about how you grew at the company over the years. So how did you start working at the company with your father and uh, how have you grown since you started? Yep. Uh, it's a long story. It's course. a long story, <laughs> a long story in short. Um, yeah. Well, even I was a small kid, my father always told me to take over his business. Mm. Uh, my house was on the top of the building, uh, the office building. So our life was always with Sigma. My life was always with Sigma. Uh, so I realized that I had to take over his business. It was your responsibility? My responsibility. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, 10 years ago, uh, my father passed away uh, and I took over uh, the business, his business. But, uh, after I graduated graduate school, I immediately started working for Sigma. So at that time, uh, we, I already worked for Sigma over 20 years. Mm -hmm. So, uh, no, uh, nearly 10, 20 years. So I knew Sigma and I knew the, what's the opportunity for us. And I really believe that uh, we can even better in terms of the product quality and performance. So uh, we, I started uh, uh, the new project called Sigma Global Vision, mm -hmm. and uh, we started uh, using the product in art, sports, contemporary life. And uh, fortunately, uh, the customers liked and appreciated uh, our new line of products. Yes. And uh, fortunately, we got uh, support from customers. And now uh, we, continue, we could continue the business up until now. That's great. It's uh, nice to have those big milestones. You know, 60 years of Sigma, 10 years of Sigma Global Vision. Yeah. We're looking forward to what comes next. Um, so most of your day is probably dealing with sales and marketing and uh, manufacturing issues. Everyone has to ask you questions throughout the day and they come to you for answers. But when you have time to yourself, what do you like to photograph? Is, photo is photography a everyday part of your life? Uh, sometimes I find it difficult to find my time to take photos, but yeah. I like to take uh, street photography. Ah. I like the people, I like the city or uh, environment. Mm -hmm. So always like the environment or circumstance, uh, circumstance or environment and mm -hmm. people. I like the street photography. So when you're taking street photography, what is your favorite camera to use? Right now I use a Sigma FP. Ah, okay. But before FP, I really liked uh, the, our DP camera. Ah, uh, which one? Uh, uh, I use a lot DP2. Okay. Uh, yes, because it's faster in terms of the uh, Focal legs. So I use a lot DP2 Merrill and the DP2 Quattro, both. Okay, the DP2 Merrill is one of my favorites. Great. Thank you. Um, so when you're using your FP, what, what lens do you prefer to have on it? I use a lot of lenses, but my favorite is 35mm F2. Oh, the I series, right? Yes, I series. Mm. 35mm F2 DGDN and also 65mm F2 DGDN. I series. So the i-series currently has seven lenses. You've got a 20, 24, 35, 45, 65, and a 90. Um, do you envision any future lenses for the i-series or is it complete at this point? Uh, we will continuously enhance the product lineup for i-series. Mm -hmm. This is a unique but a very good high, high quality lens for uh, specialized for mirrorless camera. Uh, mirrorless camera body is compact, more compact than this uh, body. Right. So obviously, customer needs a compact uh, body, compact lenses. 
but uh, the, I know that some customers wouldn't like to be uh, wouldn't like to compromise uh, with the body quality. So all ice teas were made uh, uh, from the metal parts, mm -hmm. so which uh, brings uh, the high quality feel uh, in the body. And I think that's something that's evident when you actually put an eye series lens in your hand. You can tell what makes it, what sets it apart from the others. Correct. I really enjoy just operating the lens. Uh, uh, I really enjoy my time. So you're, we're expecting more innovative products like the eye series in the future. Um, besides that, what other goals do you have for Sigma as a company going forward? I have three goals. Mm -hmm. uh, for the company. The first of all, Sigma uh, needs to be the company which provides the best quality, best performance photo equipment or imaging equipment mm -hmm. both camera and lenses. Mm -hmm. This is a first goal. Second goal is to become the brand that customers and our business partners respect and love the most. This is the second goal. The third goal is to make our company, Sigma, or as an organization, the best organization. So that's the employees and the people who are related are happy with. Mm -hmm. Well, it all starts from the top and uh, we're glad to have you as our fearless leader. So uh, thank you very much for joining me today and uh, until next time. Bye-bye. Thank you very much.